Great, magic. Really enjoy myself. I think it's been marvellous. I've been enjoying the squalls all the time. Mm. Things mark great. Basically, it's been pretty good. It's an experience I wouldn't miss. Um, that's our 1500 position. This is our course we've steered then along here, you see? There. That should confirm the course. Who's on the helm now? Oh, you see? Well, it's you well, right? What were you steering? Do you remember? Uh, Sierra Fowler. Sierra Fowler. You always make friends quick. If you have to live together, I think we've got to know each other in a short period. Difficult, I suppose, really. I mean, when you're trying to battle with everybody else's boots and jeans and oilies and everything else like that. But uh, there's been no uh, no real friction between anybody. Who said it? Who's... I don't know who it was. It wasn't too bad, actually. I thought it'd be very crowded, but um, the way the watches are worked, it means that you've really only got two watches down there at a time, so it's not too bad. When you're having your dinner and your tea, it sometimes can get a bit hectic, and all, especially if the sea's pretty rough. I think we could have a little more room, I think. Um, but I wouldn't mind one of the cabins that the uh, permanent officers have got. You know, they're quite nice, but... <laughs> Probably one of the most difficult jobs on board is the cooks. He's in a confined space, he's cooking for 55 people, and he's doing an angle sometimes of 30 to 35 degrees, which is not an easy job at all. Coupled with this, each trainee does a day in the galley. He's got to retrain them in that 24 hours, and it must be very frustrating to get a different lot and they've got to tell them where to put the spoons, where to put the knives, where to put the forks, where the plates go, hang on to the rail, one hand for himself and one hand for the food he's just about to drop on somebody. It must be very difficult. As you may or may not know, Prince Charles and Lady Diana had a baby this morning sometime. Uh, we've decided we ought to have a drink and celebrate it. So if you all like to join us with a beer, and we'll drink to their health and the baby's health. Just drop it on me to wait. No, suck it. Good well, well, Wait for it. I've got one. Right, gentlemen. Prince Charles, Princess Diana, Princess of Wales, and the new baby. New baby. Hooray! 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 I think Bruce has been pretty even all, all the way through. He hasn't seemed to change all that much. He's been very cheerful all the way through, but he seems to have been the same person. He hasn't, not a, no, a really notable change like some of them have got, but he's been a very, very good worker the watch. Mickey had problems to start with. Um, he had a bit of a, he had a couple of bad days, but we had to talk to him, sorted things out, and since then he's he's gone up from strength to strength. He's been a marvellous asset to the group and the team, and he's been brilliant in the end. He, he had no fear of working up the rigging or anything. He's, he's been a very good worker in the team. Just lean over here, bring them up to you. Healy, to me, seems that he's the one who got a lot of it. He's very quiet initially and he's come out of his shell. He's, he's a big, strong lad, but I think it's to a large extent he's scared of showing his strength. On the ship, he, he slowly built up in self-confidence. Wright was what I would probably call a mother's boy um, to a certain extent, and he has got more self-confidence in himself. He's been able to cope with the heels of this world, really, who comes from a completely different background. Um, Hesketh, a bit difficult. Um, he's obviously got better during the course of the trip. By better, I mean he's got more confidence in himself. And there's definitely a marked di difference between when he signed on and when he signed off. He! Two! I'm fake. Two! 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 Two!
I think he's come out of himself an awful lot more during the last week. Uh, he started off fairly reserved. He wasn't too sure what was going on. Um, he's now beginning to get himself into the group and working with everybody else. He's working in the group under pressure an awful lot better by the middle of the first week. I think he's enjoyed himself and he's, I think basically he's just got a little bit more self-confidence. gesture. I'd like to thank all on board. sense of adventure really I think it's to it really does bring, bring people out themselves you get people come on here maybe never been away from home before like mammy's boys you know very wet behind the ears scared to do this scared to do that and they really come out of themselves on this they find them living amongst a group of people from all walks of life from all backgrounds all sorts of anti-social habits between all of them and uh, you really have to learn to live with people not a cruise, as in cruise number whatever it is. It's a, uh, it's a little more than that. I think if you, you, you get, you get out what you put in, really. If you put in a lot, you'll get a lot more out of it than if you just sort of wander around and try and be avoided when doing things like steering or going up the rigging, things like that. First week was last. Second week hasn't been too bad. It's all right for a laugh. You have a good laugh. I wouldn't come again on it. Why? I didn't think it'd be nothing like this. Like what we've done over the last few weeks, like pulling ropes and all that, getting up out of bed, <laughs> things like that. I think you've learned anything out of it. Plenty a few things, like, but I don't think there'd be any use to me because I'm not coming on it again. <laughs> I think Mick doesn't like it. He says said he doesn't like it, but I think if he got the chance to come back again, I think he would come back again. Within a couple of weeks when they've been at home, they're going to look back on the cruise as, as an enjoy, enjoyable part of their life, something they'll probably never forget. You joined the ship a couple of weeks ago. You didn't know each other. You didn't know us. You wondered what the hell was going on. You had no idea. In these two weeks, you've gone 758 miles. You did it. Nobody else. We couldn't have got there without you. You worked together as a team, initially as watches, then as a ship's company. There's no way you could have done it by yourself. You did it as a team. Think about it. Keep up. Keep up 